Hi, welcome back everybody. In this video, we are going to be entering some calculations that allow us to estimate how much house we can afford based on important things like your income, your property taxes you expect to have, the homeowner's insurance you're gonna pay, um, how much of your income you wanna to put towards a house, how much down payments you have, um, the expected interest rates you might have, um, and I think that's it, and the length of your loan. So all of those things go into figuring out how much of a house can I afford? Can I afford a house that costs $450,000 or can I afford a house that costs $650,000? So let's get to it. This will be fun. It's a little bit complicated, so bear with me. Um, audio devices are super helpful. If you can hear what I'm saying, it's gonna make your life much easier. So I'm gonna come down here in my, on my formula here and I'm gonna add stuff right below this table here. Add a new table and I'm gonna call this how much house can I afford? So that's what these these are going to the these calculations are going to do. I'm going to double or uh, highlight both of those cells and then just do a quick merge here. I'm going to give them a color I haven't used yet. I don't know, have I used the green? I have used the green. The blue is pretty. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use that light blue color. All right, now all the things that go into it. First of all, we need to know how much money you make. So annual pre-tax income. So this is before taxes. This is your, basically your salary without all the deductions pulled out of it, whatever you how much you make a year. Um, the next one is your annual property tax. This is a number that you won't know for sure because you haven't chosen a house yet, but you might go online and find some houses on Zillow or, or uh, any website and be like, oh, I, I can estimate my taxes based on this kind of house I think I might want to buy. And then the annual uh, homeowner's insurance. Home insurance premium. Again here, this is how much it costs for the entire year, not the monthly amount. All right, and then the next thing we need to know about is our anticipated down payment. So how much do we have for a down payment? Okay, but I typed that in the wrong place. Okay, and then the anticipated interest rate, or let's just put APR in there. That might be more clear. And then the length of the loan. So here that's gonna be a 20 year, 15 year, 30 year loan. And then these next ones are going to be the calculations. It's going to be, let me make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have enough, I'll have them all. It's going to be making some assumptions now. We're going to say, hey, are you willing to take some risks and spend a big chunk of your income, 40% of your income on housing? Or do you want to say, hey, I want to be more conservative and only spend like 35%? Or you're like, hey, I want to be really conservative and spend like 40% or 30%, only 30% on housing. Um, the rationale for spending the full 40% is something like this. Hey, I know I'm going to be making more money in the future, so being tight on my finances for these next few years is okay with me because I know it's going to work out well, and I want to get the biggest, best, nicest, best location house I can possibly afford. Um, that's not always a great idea, but it's that that's the choices you get to um, face. All right, so... If I use 30% of my income, so over here we'll calculate how much house I can afford using only 30% of my income. And I'm gonna actually copy and paste this down the next two rows, and we're gonna do three calculations. Then we're gonna do the same calculation, but we're gonna say, hey, what if I were to use 35% of my income? A little less, a little more risky, um, and then this last one, we're going to say, hey, what if I use 40% of my income? If I go with this last row, I know I'm going to be house poor, meaning my mortgage payments are going to be so big each month. I'm not going to have a lot of money left over to do other stuff. But maybe over the course of my life, 
it'll get easier and easier to afford and I'll be glad I sort of pinched pennies in the early part of uh, my home ownership. All right, so I'm gonna make this row, this column a little bit wider to accommodate all these new things I've put in. And now let's get down to it. I'm gonna, let's say your household income. So if you have a spouse, you and your spouse is $120,000 a year. Um, your annual property tax is, let's say $8,000 except that's 80,000, one, two, three. Um, and your annual homeowner's insurance is $1,500 a year. That's a, a pretty decent amount. And you have a down payment on hand of, uh, let's say $80,000. Whoops, let's all use the same numbers here. So as we do the calculations, we can make sure that everything is working just right. And the anticipated APR, let's use 7.2% here. Whoops. And the length of the loan is 30 years. All right, before we get too far, let's go ahead and clean these numbers up some. These first four are all dollar amounts. So I'm gonna come up here and click on the dollar symbol format as currency. It added pennies here, and these are just big numbers. I don't need to worry about pennies. So I'm gonna actually erase the pennies off of there. Um, and my anticipated APR, let's convert that to a percent. So I'm going to hit the format as percent button up here. Notice how it changed it to 720. That means I need to come in here and just do 7.2, but add the percent sign already. So it knows that it's already a percent. So I have to add that percent sign. I'm going to come up here actually and copy this reminder up here, control C come down here and put that reminder next to this one as well. Be sure to type the percent next to the number. And here 30 I'm gonna leave is just 30. And maybe over here I'm gonna put in actually years. Just as a reminder that it's the number of years for the loan, not the number of months or anything like that. All right, the next thing here goes this big calculation. It's a little bit intense, so bear with me on it. Here's how it starts. So we do an equals because we're telling it uh, the, whoops, just messed something up. All right, so we're gonna do an equal sign first, and then we're gonna actually do two opening parentheses. And the way the formula works is it is, we wanna take our, our um, pre-tax income and we're gonna multiply for this one by 0.3. So times 0.3. That'll give us 30% of our annual income. And then we're gonna subtract away from that the $8,000 um, for property taxes. Whoops, not 8,000, sorry. We're gonna subtract away from that whatever's in this cell, not the number. And we're gonna subtract away our homeowner's insurance. So that 30% of your income for housing costs has to cover your mortgage, your loan payment, your property tax, and your premium. So we took our 30% and subtracted the property tax and premium from that. And we're gonna put a closing parenthesis there. And then we're gonna divide that by 12. So inside the parentheses we just did was the annual amount that we should be spending on um, just the loan. And then divide by 12 is the monthly amount we should be spending on the loan. Close that parenthesis and hit enter. Okay, so that comes up with $2,208, which is pretty reasonable right there. So that's how much we should be spending on the loan each month. Now the calculation is not done. Now we're just testing to see if we got to the right place. All right, next thing we're going to do is... All right, we need to multiply that. So times, and we're gonna do two parentheses again, and we're gonna do one plus, and we need the interest rate here, divided by 12, parentheses, and then a little caret for power, and then we need an open parenthesis the number of years, because this is the number of payments we're making, to the power of the number of payments, times 12. 
close parentheses. And then all of that minus one and another final close parenthesis. Yep. And then a divided by sign. Um, and now in the bottom of the fraction, we need two opening parentheses and we need the monthly interest rate, which is just this divided by 12. And then all of that times another opening parentheses, one plus and the interest rate again, the monthly interest rate, that divided by, whoops, yep, divided by 12, close a parenthesis there. And we want that raised to the power, so a little caret, so a shift six of in, yep, number of payments. And so, sorry, just making sure I get this right. So that's the number of years times 12. <laughs> All right, I'm going to zoom in. I should have done this earlier. I apologize. And let's go down here and see if we can't see it. Ooh, that's zooming in way too far. Why is my computer so brutally slow? All right, let's come over here. Okay, so up here you can see the formula if you need to see it. Let me zoom in a little bit more. All right. That one. Perfect. And the answer here should be you can afford $325,000 of a house. Oh, wait, there's a mistake in it. Uh, one last thing we need to do. So at the very beginning over here, we need to say, click on your down payment and then it is do an add afterwards. We just need to add the down payment to all that calculation and then hit enter. And so it should be $405,000 should be the total amount. All right, so there's the equation. And now what I need to do is, this is this part's a little tricky, is I need to go back and add dollar signs in, in front of all of the letters and numbers. So G34, put a dollar sign in front of G, and in front of 34. And the same thing for all the other ones, G31, G, and 32. Your numbers and letters might be a little different than mine, so don't copy the same numbers and letters. You have to actually click on the meaning of them up here because um, our rows might be a little different or off a little bit. Okay, I think I got all of them. I'm gonna hit enter. And now I can just copy and paste this down. And it does the exact same co um, uh, calculation for all of them, but this one I wanted to be 35%. So I'm going to go up here and find this 0.3 and change it to 0.35. Whoops. And hit enter. So at 35% of my income, I can suddenly afford a much more expensive house. So 405,000 to 478. So that kind of makes sense. And on this one, I'm going to change the 0.3 to a 0.4. This is my stretch one. Um, so at this income and everything, I can afford a $552,000 house. Um, and those are my three calculations. Yay. <laughs> if you need help with something, let me know. I'm here to help. I right, gonna zoom back out real quick so we can see where we are. Okay, what do I care? It's just done there. Perfect.
Okay, so that's it for this one. Um, we now have a way of calculating by entering all this info. Oh, actually, let's highlight these, turn their background to charcoal, or I like a charcoal color, and then turn the text to white. And then let's copy and paste this cell here to all three of these. So we know don't mess with these. We have to enter these up here, but not these down here. All right, so that's it, my friends. Well done. I'm proud of you. Um, best of luck.